it is definitely not too late to still participate in dry January. There are still four weekends left in January, so it's definitely not too late. I started out my Sober Curious journey with a 30-day break from alcohol, and I want to go over why I think that is so important. I learned so much about myself in that first 30 days that I just had not known about myself before. For instance, I had no idea that I didn't have to dread every single Sunday. I actually really enjoy Sundays. It's one of my favorite days of the week. I also did not know that my digestion was going to improve. My workouts were going to improve. My overall mental state and my mental health was in such a good spot during that 30-day break. I feel like a lot of people, especially my age and living in a city like Chicago, were very much so stuck in this cycle of going out every weekend and then needing time to recover. And by the time we feel better, <laughs> we're drinking again. So taking that 30-day break to really break that cycle is such a good place to start if you're wanting to reevaluate your relationship with alcohol. A couple of tips for a successful dry January would be first thing is taking time to reflect on all of the changes and the improvements that you're noticing during that first 30 days as well as hurdles that you're facing when you opt to go alcohol free. I specifically was journaling. If journaling's not your thing, you don't have to do it that way. Um, you can also just type some notes in your phone or do something like this, like a virtual diary. That was super important for me. If you still plan to socialize with friends during your dry January, I highly, highly recommend making sure that you are stocked with non-alcoholic beverage options. Um, one that I usually bring is Ritual. They are alternatives to spirits like rum and tequila, and that just helps making me feel included. Um, when you have a cup in your hand, it is very likely that folks aren't even going to be asking if you're drinking or not. The last thing I would say is find community, whether that's in person or online. Just knowing you're not going through this experience alone is really going to help.